You're watching Northern Crimes. Nestled within the tranquil confines of Oregon Siskiyou Mountains, a chilling tale unfolded, a tale that juxtaposed the serenity of nature with the sinister undertones of humanity's dark side. It was Labor Day weekend, 1974, when the unsuspecting Cowden family set off for a peaceful camping trip in these mountains. Their quest for a harmonious communion with nature, however, plunged into an eerie abyss of mystery that continues to perplex us to this day. This is Northern Crimes. The 1st of September, 1974, unfolded innocuously. Richard Cowden, a 28-year-old logging truck driver, his wife Belinda, their son David, and their infant daughter Melissa were nestled within their familiar camping spot at Carberry Creek. That morning was serene, with Richard and David seen leisurely heading for a fishing trip at the creek. The day was expected to end with the family returning home, but when they didn't, Belinda's mother began to worry. A visit to the campsite the following morning revealed an unsettling scene. The family's belongings were meticulously arranged, breakfast items untouched, and their truck parked. The scene suggested an imminent departure, but Richard, Belinda, David, and Melissa were nowhere to be seen. Later, the family's pet dog, Droopy, was found clawing at a local general store's entrance. The Cowden family's absence triggered one of Oregon's largest search operations. Despite the massive deployment of local law enforcement, state police, volunteers, helicopters, divers, and bloodhounds, the Cowdens remained elusive, leaving behind a campsite that eerily echoed their presence, yet bore no witness to their departure. Days turned into weeks, and the search morphed from hopeful rescue to a desperate hunt for answers that the silent wilderness refused to give up. Then, on April 12, 1975, seven months into the mystery, an unforeseen twist emerged. Two gold prospectors chanced upon a grisly scene some seven miles from the campsite, the decomposed remains of the Cowden family. Richard's body was bound to a tree while Belinda, David, and Melissa were concealed within a shallow cave nearby. Autopsies later confirmed that Belinda and David had been shot, but Richard and Melissa's cause of death remained a mystery due to the advanced decomposition. The discovery confirmed the worst. The Cowden family hadn't just vanished. They'd been viciously murdered. The probe into the Cowden family's murders was as exhaustive as it was inconclusive. Among the myriad of leads and hundreds of interviews, one suspect stood out, Dwayne Lee Little, a local man with a history of violence. His proximity to the Cowden's disappearance and subsequent crimes brought him under scrutiny, but the lack of concrete evidence shielded him from charges related to the Cowden case. Another theory posited multiple perpetrators, possibly linked to illicit activities in the area. But like others, this theory too failed to pierce the veil of mystery shrouding the case.
The Cowden family tragedy left a lasting imprint on the community, turning the peaceful Siskiyou Mountains into a reminder of this unresolved crime. Despite the passage of decades and advancements in forensics, the case remains unsolved. The story representing the fragility of life and the mysteries that can exist even in calm landscapes continues to raise unsettling questions about the unknown perpetrators. Who were they? Why did they do it? And what happened to them? And yet, the mountains conceal a grim secret. The Cowden family's unsolved crime. One of Oregon's most baffling mysteries.